For the next week. That's up my viewers, subscribers, welcome back to the channel. So right now, quick and fast my viewers. If you want to know if you continue to like, share and subscribe, leave your thoughts in your comments down below in the comment section. No further ado, let us get into it. Cops carried out raids in St. Andrew South. St. gun seized. The St. Andrew South police seized a Springfield Smith & Wesson pistol along with nine rounds in a car. At Moho Drive, St. Andrew, on Friday, January 28. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that about 9 p.m. They were conducting the spot check, search and operation along the Moha Drive when they signaled a white Toyota Axio to stop. During a search of the vehicle, the firearm was found in a bag on the driver's seat the driver of the vehicle was taken into custody investigators continue in another incident a 32 year old sheldon smith of prospect saint elizabeth was arrested a charge following the seizure following the seizure of a berita 9 mm pistol and nine rounds of ammunition in bambo Sentan also on friday reports from the saint Anne's police station are that about 6 p.m. Smith was a passenger in a Toyota Pro Box heading towards Prairie from Bamboo in St. Anne. While the lawman intercepted the vehicle, both the driver and Smith were searched and the firearm was found in Smith's bag. He was taken into custody and charged with a legal possession of firearm and ammunition. His court date are being finalized some of you as cops them are dig down and find some whole heap of machine from the other day a whole heap of machine are fine so let us see if the whole violence and crime rate in our country are going to come to a, a halt or it are going to continue and the same part it is now Search on for a BMW driver after cops seized high-powered rifle. Police have launched a search for the driver of a BMW motor car following an operation that led to the seizure of an AK-47 and an American technical rifle and more than 300 rounds of ammunition. In St. James on Friday, reports are that a team of officers was on foot patrol in the Brinch Hill section of the parish when they saw the man exiting the motor car with a box. Police report that the man dropped the box and ran. And on the approach of the JCFT members, the box was searched and the weapons were found. Two include gun dealer to face more than questioning after nine guns fine. Cop said gun smith has reportedly repairs firearm for criminals across the island. The police are yet to charge the two suspects apprehended in re relation to the seizure of nine firearms in Jarrett Lane in Mountain View, St. Andrew last Friday. In an update at the Thursday's police press conference, Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitzroy Bailey said 
that the two men remain in custody as investigating into the matter is ongoing. The men are also to undergo further questioning. Among the men in custody is an amateur in the criminal underworld who has been known to repair firearms for various gangs across the country. Bailey reiterated that his arrest has been significant. We are talking about someone who repairs a firearm. I know it was a blow to the criminal underworld in terms of identifying people to provide that level of support. The police head of the crime portfolio said the man provides support right across the island. He operated like a ghost for many years and a lot of intelligence work led to us identify him and led to that significant success he continued. The police in a release last week said the following intense intelligence gather process the counterterrorism and organized crime branch CTAC with support from special operation and other forums raid and address in Jarrett Lane where nine assorted firearms and a quantity of ammunition among military weapons and military uniform was seized. Up to Wednesday, two more high-powered guns were found at the stadium Eastfield in Jarrett Lane, where the weapons were hidden. Criminals impersonate police superintendent, rob and assault victims. Criminals have reportedly stolen the identity of the police superintendent, Upton Nelson, and other people have been luring unsuspected victims. The police say criminals have been using the name and photographs of superintendent and other to create fake pages on several platforms and dating sites. Victims believing that they are communicating with senior cop have reportedly been lured to various places across the corporate area, St. Catherine, St. Mary, where they were tricked, robbed, and in some instance sexually assaulted. The police say Nicholson has stated that the accounts connected to these criminal identities do not belong to him. He is reportedly cooperating with investigators from the counter-terrorism and organized crime investigation branch who are probing a case of missed identity and theft. Other detectives across various divisions, the police are appealing to people that be extremely vigilant when communicating with others online, especially those who are meeting for the first time in that digital space and time. Men arrested, gun seized after cop fired on a new market. The police have apprehended a group of men and recovered an illegal firearm after they allegedly fired at the police in New Market, St. Elizabeth, last evening. No injuries were reported. Swift response and a collaborative effort between the St. Elizabeth police and their Westmoreland counterparts result in the capture of the men and the seizure of the firearm. The police investigation is ongoing into the matter.